music and life to the full. X Rhythms. Hi, I'm Shez, and today I sat down with Tim Pilkington, who is the CEO of World Vision, an organization that helps children that are stuck in poverty. We talked a bit about the impact that church has on mental health, and also the huge impact the younger generation are beginning to have on shaping the world stage and affecting world policy. Enjoy. Okay, so we're going to talk today about a report that was recently uh, created by World Vision in connection with Barna Group um, to look at the impact that uh, being someone who has a faith and goes to church has on a person's mental health. Can you shed a little bit more light on why you wanted to have the report in the first place and really what the results of that were? Yeah, so I mean the, the report in its entirety is actually broader than that. Mm -hmm. So it looks at sort of attitudes generally and what different faith makes. But this is one of the key things that was a bit of a surprise that came out the other end of it. Mm -hmm. okay. And it was really surprising. There was there was things in there like, you know, still, if you still have a faith and have church, you might, 22% of people in this age range would still say they're anxious. Uh -huh. But it'd be 33% if you don't have faith. So that's kind of a third less. Yes. We'd find that 16% um, of practicing Christians would say they feel lonely uh -huh. but 31 percent if they're not christians would say they're lonely yeah. so it's almost half there yeah. so it, it was one of the things that came out we were exploring a number of areas but this really did come out really strongly for us so we wanted to engage about it because we just think it's a really important finding in an era when we hear a lot about people struggling with um anxiety and mental health mm -hmm. i was actually really encouraged mm being part of a church and knowing that God loves you can really yes. help you yeah. know it, it doesn't solve it it doesn't mean you never have challenges uh -huh. but it really help and I'm really encouraged help. by that yeah yeah absolutely um and I can talk from personal experience in as being somebody who went through a period of having mental health issues as many people do and yeah. not going to church during that period and then deciding to try going to church uh, the difference that it made was was astronomical for me as well. Um, but I, I do have a quick question that I wanted to touch on about the findings of the report, which it suggests that pe you know people who go to church tend to have uh, a better state of mental health than people who don't go to church. Do you think it's because going to church improves your mental health, or do you think it's because people who have good mental health are more likely to go to church? That's a brilliant question, isn't it? Really interesting one. To be honest, I don't know, so I'm speculating here. Okay. Yeah? I, I would I would hope that maybe it's a little bit of both, but I'd certainly hope that someone who has had challenges with their mental health would know that going to church, maybe mm -hmm. they're then looking. So I'd hope that they would then be looking and then they would go, yeah. you know, and say, could this help? Mm -hmm. And I really do believe that if you walk around, it's my experience. I, I can't, I became a Christian when I was about um, 17. Mm -hmm. So I almost can't remember what it was like before. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if I wasn't walking around knowing God loved me, or in a community that cared about me, you know, where, where I, I really was in there. I, it, my perspective when I see things going on around me and the challenges I face, it would be different. Mm. And I'm convinced it would be different. And when I engage with some of the, the younger people at church and, and listen to them, I genuinely believe that that just changes your life. Yeah. You know, I mean, you won't have any challenges. You know, I don't want to try and say that if you're a Christian, you won't have challenges. Mm -hmm. They all do have challenges. I'm sure I still have my challenges. But I really do believe it happens. 